All right, guys, we're going to work on the uh, CCKA Onan again. And the next step in this process is we're going to put the pistons here on the rods. So we're going to take the rods off our old pistons and uh, mount them on these new ones here. And what the other thing is we got new bearings. So we're going to put new bearings in those new rods. And then at that point, we can slip them into the cylinder bores and install the crankshaft and we'll be ready to roll here and uh, so let's get started with those rod bearings well guys we got these old uh, pistons here which I bought used and uh, there's really not too much wrong with them but there is some scoring here on the edge so I had found that other pair of pistons here which literally are brand new and they're all shiny and there's only really one difference between the two and you see the edge here on this piston is a little bit different than the edge on this but it's really uh, irrelevant all the rest of the piston is exactly the same um, you know it's got all the same dimensions there's a little bit of a difference in the oil in the rings here where they're located but again I don't really think it makes too much of a difference but um, what we're going to do is we're going to put this thing together and, uh, you know, when we look at where the wrist pins are, if I line both of them up, the top of the piston is still at the same position as the other one. So, I don't know, they must have just changed the design over time and made it into this new style. So, um, what we'll do is we'll take out the piston pins here and put our rods onto the new pistons and then we'll pop out our rod bearings from the bottom and we'll do the same thing with them and uh, we got to do that for both sides all right so now we got our new 10 under rod bearings here and uh, I got the new piston on the old rod and you'll see here that the rod bearing just has a little tab right here where you can hook in there and pull it out and uh you know this is the bottom half here and you see it's got that little indentation up there and basically i just got to take this new one and drop it right in there and push it in and that's it so we'll put those in and um then this rod will be ready to go and we'll do the other side and we'll be halfway home all right, so now I got my new 10 under bearings and my rod here and my new piston and my new rings. And when you put the rod in to the cylinder, you got to make sure that the bolts are to the bottom so that when you put it on the crankshaft, you can access the bolts. And when I mean the bottom, I mean the oil pan area. So this first piston is ready to install into the cylinder. So that's going to be my first step here is to get this in the bore. So I got my piston here and my ring compressor and normally you take a hammer handle and just give it a couple taps and get those rings in. And of course this one's being bitchy already. So what I'll do is I'll uh, loosen this up a hair and reposition my uh, ring compressor. Sometimes these things are tough to deal with. But uh, I'll just give it, loosen it up, and as you know, the clearance for the rings, it's only, what what do we say, about ten thousandths, and it's really not a heck of a lot of clearance when you sit back and think about it. So sometimes it's hard to get the, the piston to actually go into that hole. But uh, I'll just put this hammer handle on there, give it a little tap. Yeah, of course it doesn't want to go in. So I'll do this off camera, but you get the idea. All right, we got the piston in. And what it needed was a little bit of oil. And uh, you got to make sure that you got this ring compressor really tight. If it's just a hair off, it doesn't, doesn't work right. So what I do is I take the bottom of the hammer and make sure that it's flush all the way around the bore here. And that way you ensure that it's really square and you can get it nice and tight. So we'll do the same thing on the other side and then we'll work to the crankshaft. Alright, so I got both the pistons installed and now I got my uh, bearing plate here. And I'm going to take this old seal out 
and replace it with this nice new one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a slide hammer and get behind this and pull it out. And then I'll use my seal driver kit to drive that new one in. So let's see if we can get that going. I got my bearing plate here and I got my new seal about ready to go in. And I've got this seal driver here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap it in real nice and get it snug. And uh, then we'll be ready to put the bearing plate over the crankshaft. Right, we're all set here. Nice new seal. And we'll make sure we put plenty of oil on there when we push the new crank into it. And uh, we'll be in good shape. 